Pardon the horrible haircut and the ever-growing fat face here. Makes me wonder why I even get on video. Um, but I wanted to get on and share an observation with you. I'm sure it will just continue to get the same kind of results that I've been getting lately. And I don't guess it bothers me uh, that much. More than anything, it's a curiosity. Uh, I've made two videos recently that have garnered negative responses from atheists which I, I know I don't find that odd my whole intent with this channel is to promote my faith something they don't agree with uh, it's also to invite discussion and opposing opinions and they give me those so there's not a big surprise in some sense in the overall generalized way in which I orchestrate my channel and my normal offerings and apologetics and personal stories and things but these two these two did take me by surprise and it's kinda clued me into something I've always kinda known and seen and not every atheist acts this way let me put that out there because if I don't say that there will be many of you that get mad that you're not this way. Of course, that would be ironic if you got mad because what I want to talk about is atheist sensitivity. Like, it's almost an over sensitivity to an extreme that I just don't see in very many other walks of life. Um, and it could be any kind of sensitivity. Like, they're overly sensitive and angry, or they're overly sensitive and offended. Or, uh, I, I don't know. Let me tell you why uh, this even came up. Two videos ago, I was asking a question. I really wasn't making a statement. I may have led on that I had an opinion about it. But I was asking the question, does modern uh, advances in technology and the fact that we can now reproduce things that were once thought impossible have any effect on you, the atheist's opinion as to whether or not miracles, as they're reported in the Bible, are indeed possible. Most of you answered, no, that doesn't have an effect. Um, and I didn't really expect anything else, but I got so downrated on that video, I think it's now negative 67 percent for asking the question um, that's what boggles the mind a little bit now maybe the question was just ludicrous and that's why the down ratings but uh, and it doesn't bother me if my my videos don't get 100 percent thumbs up I like the fact that feedbacks coming in at all. You know, there are times where I make what I think is a good video and it hardly gets, you know, 50 views. So I, I beggars can't be choosers. I like the feedback. It's just odd that a question inflamed so many sensibilities out there that 67% of you downrated it. <laughs> uh, which leads to me to my next video. And this is even more odd, folks. Last video, the one right before this one. I make fun of myself. And others like me that let their passion for Christ and their zealousness for wanting others to come to Christ kind of get off kilter. It becomes too prideful a process or we put too much stock in the fact that a particular argument might be able to even win somebody over and cause them to get on their knees and repent right then and there and become Christians. Those things have their place. I wasn't trying to say that argumentation and apologetics are worthless. 
It's just that when you finally enter into a relationship or you get to that humble place in your life where you're literally like, you know what, God, if you're out there, I'm going to get on my knees. I'm going to humble myself before you. And I just want you to be a part of my life. I, I accept that you sent Jesus here as my Lord and Savior. And I want to invite him into my heart. And I feel silly talking out loud right now. But, I mean, no... Nothing I say is going to get you to that process. That's a very personal, intimate moment that you have to come to. But ultimately, that video was designed to make me eat a humble pill. To, to, to admit to you guys, I ain't all that in a bag of chips. And I know it. And yet I still... <laughs> got some negative, negative reactions to it. Some of you really thought I was trying to be, present something unapologetic to you, or prove God to you, or prove Christ to you. Um, so anyway, there's a certain sensitivity out there to anything I do, that so much so that even when I'm making fun of myself, I apparently still don't do it just right. Something for you to think about, guys.